Hello. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you may be thinking, Emma, where the hell are you? Like this isn't this isn't your bedroom. Like what's going on? You're right, this isn't my bedroom. So I have decided to just take a trip all by myself. Just go take myself on a solo weekend getaway. Because why the hell not? Basically, I let me just run you through what's what's kinda happened to you. So so Friday I started packing, right? Hello everyone, let me sit you down. Okay, so it is Friday evening and tomorrow I am going on a solo weekend getaway for the very first time. Am I scared? No, I'm not. I consider myself to be a very independent woman. My only worry is that they're not actually gonna let me in the hotel because I don't look 23. Like, look at me, I don't look 23. You know, I'm gonna walk up to the front desk and be like, hi, I'm here for to get my room and they're like excuse me sweetie like where is your parents and i'm like bitch i'm 23. <laughs> that's what i'm really most concerned about i'm not concerned about getting robbed kidnapped murdered i need to start packing i haven't packed i mean my flight is at 10 30 tomorrow i do have time let's pack together i don't know what i'm i literally don't know what i need to wear we can pack this i got this new jumper for literally five dollars oh oh god i think i might need to do some ironing these definitely need an iron. I don't have any civilian clothes. That's the real issue because I basically just wear either pajamas or training gear, noble gear, active gear, and I'm hopefully gonna find some civilian clothes where I'm going. Should probably pack some track pants. These look fine, black, just joggers. Oh, I need a running outfit. Mmm. Yes, I have to wear this top. I feel like I run my best. This sounds so weird. I feel like I run my best in this Nike top. Just a plain black Nike top. These pants are sick. I got them from Princess Polly, I think. Yes, Princess Polly. Um, also, I need to pack like a training outfit because I am popping into a CrossFit gym on the Monday. Pack a noble jumper to make, you know, make me look like I'm a awesome elite crossfitter um now the question is i don't know what the weather's supposed to be like i think it's meant to be like a raining for like tomorrow when i arrive which is kind of not kind of not fun we can pack some bike shorts again all my clothes are inside out pack some bike shorts these are from right away if you're wondering pack these a pair of leggings lululemon leggings the lines absolutely amazing we need to pack those as well oh stop right there amazing I love that color blue. Honestly, do you think blue is my favorite color? I keep, like, literally all the clothes I've packed so far are either black, white, or blue. Do I want to take a sick jacket? Do I want to pack my leather jacket? Do I want to look like a bikey baddie? I mean, imagine me just, like, rolling up with my suitcase in this with some sunglasses. I mean, people are just going to take one look at me and, like, oh, my gosh, she's the real deal. She is here for business. She is a baddie. Oh, I know what color I haven't packed, and it's, like, one of my staples. I need to pack a brown top. Now. I'm only going for like three days. I feel like I'm packing my entire wardrobe, which is not a lot. I don't actually have a lot of clothes. Let's open this bad boy up. Why is it not opening? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait. Wait. I'm sorry. There's two suitcases in one? I'm so confused right now. I don't think you really want to see me packing everything individually, so I'm just gonna do like a cute, fun time lapse. Okay, I think I'm done. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know what? That packing actually took a lot, like a lot quicker than I thought. I thought I was like, oh my God, I'm going to take like so much time to pack. But honestly, like it took like milliseconds. And then the next day rolled around. everyone it is saturday today my flight is at 10 20. do you want to know what time it is right now 6 40 in the morning what like i have four hours three hours to kill i have nothing to do like why did i wake up this early i don't know it's such a beautiful morning out here getting some fresh air some movement because I'm not training today because I got my run tomorrow and I want to be fresh for that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I just want to go right now. I was 
just like I woke up so early and like I had like all the time in the world to do things but I literally did nothing for like four hours and then I had my flight I am here yeah I'm here I am I've arrived I've got my suitcase with me that I've been wheeling around because I I can't check in until um, two o'clock I am busting for the toilet like big time I, I don't know whether to, I, I like I'm I need the toilet I'm trying to find a public toilet it's disgusting I know anyways and I also need to get food but I don't know where I want to eat like I just don't I've made it. Let's look at the view. Oh, almost two o'clock. I haven't had lunch yet. I am starving, and I need to go shopping for the next three hours. I'm I'm tired, but I I, I need a chai latte and I need some lunch. Um, and some water. I need to go food shopping to get some snacks. Looks like a nice room. Let me check out the bathroom. Okay. Am I literally just showering in the dark? This is, that's awesome. I might be showering in the dark, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to like collapse on the floor. I need to go get some food. Some hobo on the street tries to touch me in this position. They are gonna get a slap. I got sushi. Did I get too much? Okay, haul time. So I went to Lululemon. The lady was like, she knew the reason why I was down there. She was like, are you participating in the run? And I was like, bitch, how did you know? Of course I'm participating in the run. So I got these Lululemon, oh, oh sorry, the wrong way. Lululemon aligned shorts. I think they're the six inch one. It's in this print. They look kind of fire though. They're very nice and soft. Um, I then went to Cotton On and as you guys saw, I got this really cool fleece. I'm obsessed, as you can see, with like, fleece stuff at the moment. I don't know, like the color blocking is like it's really my vibe at the moment. Then I went to Dimix, this awesome bookstore that's redone in Adelaide, which is where I'm staying, right? But I picked up two books. I could have picked up the whole store. So I picked up Gabriella Bernstein's. I've actually listened to the um, audio book of this, but I really wanted the um, actual copy. So I got Do Projector and it's such a good book, but I just want it for like hard copy. And then this one really like captured my eye the first, in, like second I walked into the bookstore and it's Chill and Prosper by Dennis Duffield Thomas. It's all about the new way to grow your business, make millions and change the world. Kind of my vibe at the moment as well. More water. I got some crumpets for breakfast, like pre-run, something to eat before my run tomorrow because I'm not running on an empty stomach. I got some strawberries to snack on. Loki, like a last minute purchase because they're like, you've got seven minutes until we close. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I got this dark chocolate bites with roast and almond pretzel and sea salt really on the pretzel kick ever since they gave me pretzels on the flight today so i'm like yay i need peanut butter and i don't think i have a knife but this is the only peanut butter i found that was small enough and that's like this is all i need and i need it for my crumpets and my bananas which i also got as well and then finally like i got a backup meal because honestly i'm not hungry for dinner and if the place i'm like going to tonight or want to check out tonight is like shut it's balsam i've really been a big fan i've been eyeing them off for ages um balsam are like a salad company and like what they do is they like prep salads and then they like distribute them to like supermarkets and they happen to be in the supermarket that was in so i picked one up it's the asian chicken slaw it's got rice noodles shredded chicken breast rainbow slaw carrot and zucchini with rice seasoning and ginger soy and sesame dressing so if worse comes to worse this is my dinner tonight 
this is my dessert. <laughs> really should check to see if the place I want to get dinner, which is like this Mexican place, literally just a couple of steps down the road, shuts. And I just want to kind of like order it like on my phone and just like pick it up. It says my goddamn name. It says my goddamn name. I feel like a fully, I feel so looked after right now. <laughs> okay, I've ordered dinner for myself. It's it's a Mexican place that I have always wanted to try. Um, so I scheduled to pick it up at around six o'clock. It's now 5.40 because I just need to sit down a little bit. Yeah, right now I am watching Friends. This is just so ideal. My digestion is so bad. <laughs> Honestly, you know what my plans tonight are, you know? All the bars and clubs are literally just like a street over from me. So like I could hit the town if I really want to, but like the bed looks really, really inviting. We have secured the goods. I'm not even hungry, but I need to eat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, full time. Actually, like, I walked in there and they're like, 10.35. I'm like, that's me, bitch. Oh, what is this? I reckon this might be the chips. Okay, cute. Oh, thank God they gave me cutlery. I was like freaking out. I was like, if they didn't get me cutlery, I'm going to be nervous. You know what they didn't get me? Water. They didn't get me my water. Or was I supposed to get the water? <gasps> Ooh, guys. This looks epic. Oh, <laughs> mukbang. It's mukbang time. Okay, first we're going to try a chip. I mean, the seasoning's good, but they're low-key a little bit cold. Mmm, they're a little bit cold, but the seasoning's nice. Time for the absolute feast. Wow, the gra oh, the guacamole, guacamole, guacamole. I kind of need to get a bit of everything. I got added lettuce as well. I took the black beans out because I'm not having further digestion issues before my run tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Wow, okay, that's really good. I'm absolutely living. If you haven't tried Guzman's Gomez Mexican place, highly recommend. This has been on my list for ages and it's totally customizable as well. They have burrito bowls, they have tacos, burritos, and like you can like be like, okay, I add this, but take out this and this is enough. So it's like really good. This is it, this is, this is living. here right now ladies and gentlemen yeah so tomorrow i am planning to get up at six no later than six because i need to be down at the park by 7 30 for an eight o'clock run start um for my run tomorrow morning i'm really 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 excited like i've never well i have done like runs like this but i haven't done like I, like i haven't ran 12 kilometers in a few months so i'm really relying on my fitness my crossfit training fitness not expecting to smash some PBs, but you know, I think I'll be fine. I'm so happy that I'm doing this for myself. But yeah, that concludes day one, ladies and gentlemen. The next video will be day two and day three of this little weekend getaway that I have created for myself. Um, so if you enjoyed today's literal travel vlog, give it a big humongous channel with fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Comment down below absolutely anything you want. Follow me on my Instagram, Emma Clark underscore nutrition. Make sure you listen to my podcast, the Fuel the Fry podcast. I am launching new one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching packages really, really, really soon. One is literally launched by the time you by the time this video comes out. If you want to eat like an elite and perform at your very best, and you want to literally take your performance to the next level. 
get on that right right away so thanks for stopping by ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching today make sure you check out the next video or two of the continuation of my weekend getaway and i'll see you guys very soon i'll see you guys tomorrow bye